Just a quick note, this video has been re-edited and cleaned up just a little bit. I apologize for the poor video quality. It was before I had some decent camera gear. We are going to be talking about an Evolution saw that Evolution sent me for free. They sent it to me so I could share it with you guys. And to be quite honest, I have used nothing but Evolution chop saw since then. In fact, I'm on my second chop saw. But when it comes to just cutting straight loose stock that you have laying around when you're building something, I honestly don't think you can beat one of these types of saws. Now in the past I've used similar saws, they had abrasive discs, but if you take a look, this particular Evolution does not have an abrasive disc, it has a regular looking saw blade, which kind of intrigued me. Now it's a little bit slower RPMs than a regular chop saw, like a wood chop saw, it only runs about 1600 RPMs, but that seems to be the perfect magic number, and I will show you some cuts that are really good. Now I do want to talk a little bit about the construction of this unit. It has a couple of features that I think is actually pretty nice. Um, the base here, I don't know what material this is. Uh, it feels, it is definitely a metal. I don't know if it's aluminum or some type of pop metal, but it's not magnetic. If I take a magnet and I stick to it, it, it just, it doesn't stick. Now the plate here that the guides are on, it, it is some type of steel. But I'm going to say this is really thick and really tough. And actually the whole entire saw is actually quite heavy. I really think that when you make something good like this, a good piece of equipment, it's really hard to make make one without it being heavy. Now the clamping feature actually has a couple of things that I really like. One of those is if you lay a piece of stock in there that you want to cut, you don't have to crank this all the way down to tighten it up. You just shove it up, flip this little lever over, and now you can tighten it and you're not cranking the entire all thread or acme thread back and forth to open and close it. And then when you want to release it, you basically loosen it up a little bit, flip this back, and you can slide it all the way out. So it's a pretty neat feature, it'll save you a little bit of time. And it also has a pivot point back here that you can pivot and dial in maybe a 45 degree cut if you wish to do so. Now your typical cutoff discs that you used to buy on a metal chop saw, they would kind of throw metal everywhere. This particular unit just has a regular teeth style saw blade, which works really well, and we'll get to that here in a second, but it actually has a really good control at controlling where those little bits and pieces go after it does its cut. And there's a tray in the bottom, and it actually works really well. You can see I've done quite a few cuts, and it's collected most of the shrap metal from the cut. That being said, it probably collects maybe 90% of that and a good 10% does kind of come off and coat your work area but it still is pretty nice to catch most of it. Now to change the blade it basically requires just an allen type tool. They give that to you and they have a little holder here so you can slip it in place and hopefully not lose it. Changing it is really simple. There is a stop button up here that when you press this down it prevents the blade from spinning. There is a little dust door here that you have to undo and then basically this also is an allen. You back that out, you pull the blade off and you put a new one on. It's really simple and you're ready to make another cut. There is a stop adjustment. This basically is an adjustment that dictates how far it can fold down so you don't fold down too far. Mine came pre-adjusted and it seems to be all right, so there probably never really will be a real reason to readjust that, but if you needed to, you could. On this side is a locking mechanism that locks this hinge. So basically you pull this out and you turn it one quarter turn and that dictates if it's gonna be locked after you fold it down. So right now, if we fold it down, it'll lock itself. It is spring assisted and would lift itself on its normal accord, but with that locked, it will not. So you probably wanna store it like this or if you needed to pack this around, this would be a way that you would do that. But when you're done and you wanna use it, you just go down here, turn it one quarter turn, and it'll just lift itself up. Now I have some various pieces of metal and I wanna cut them and I wanna show you in real time video how fast I'm able to cut. And then we're gonna do some close-ups of the metal so you can see just how clean cut something like this will do. <laughs> Now that was real time. I did not speed the video up at all. That's how fast it cut it. And if you can look at this piece up close, it's actually a really nice, clean, straight cut. Now let's throw a piece of heavy wall tubing in this thing and see how she cuts that.
and again it just chews through it without any issues at all and if we take a close look at the cut you can see it's a very nice cut and because this thing has its build on vice it's going to cut everything exactly at 90 degree cuts unless you choose something different and dial it in with the feature in the back that does allow you to do different angle cuts now let's throw some aluminum angle in there now this aluminum angle is a little bit thicker than 1 8 I don't think it's anything that's standard it was actually bought on a job site and it was extra left over but aluminum sometimes gets kind of tricky to cut because it likes to melt under the heat now the nature of these blades is they don't make a lot of heat you've actually been seeing me pick up pieces of metal that I just cut and I'm not burning my hand because it doesn't really get hot which is completely different than your standard abrasive disc but let's cut this piece of aluminum and see what it does Now I cut through that pretty much like butter. And you can see again, the cut is just a really nice, clean, straight cut. Pretty amazing for the speed that we're able to cut these things. Now that would have took quite a few minutes over on my bandsaw. Now we're going to step it up a notch. We're going to cut some quarter inch stock. This is two inch by two inch tubing at quarter inch thick. And I bet this evolution saw cuts right through it without any issues at all. Look at that cut. It did not really care. And you can see I'm holding this in my hand because it is still cool. Because that's how these particular blades cut. They really don't make a lot of heat. Now I'm going to cut a piece of thin wall copper tubing. Copper is really soft and it's a really thin wall. And I just want to demonstrate that the aggressiveness of this blade is not going to deform this copper. It's actually going to cut through it without any issues at all. And I find that pretty impressive that you can cut really heavy thick steel. And you cut something really delicate and the cut is still clean. I'll take a look at that. It didn't deform it by any means. It's a nice clean cut. Yeah, a little bit of deburring here, but other than that, that's way better than you could ever do with a hacksaw. Now let's get a little goofy here and cut a piece of two before with some nails in it. And you can see there's no problem at all. It cuts two befores like it's just butter. Now this blade is a steel blade, but there's absolutely no issues at all cutting wood with it either. And if you run into some nails like this, normally that's oops and you've chewed some teeth off. But this saw's made to cut steel, so no issues at all. Now let's throw a piece of Trex in this thing, and we're going to see if it melts all over the blade or if it just cuts right through it. I have a sneaky suspicion we're not going to have any problem at all. For those of you that don't know what Trex is, it's kind of a plastic composite material that's used on deck and that's exactly what this piece is here. Let's cut it, see what happens. And again, as I expected, no problems at all. It's just a nice clean cut and you could pretty much use a saw like this to build a deck with and it would really save a lot of time. That should help in some of the builds that are coming up. And as I said in my previous video, there's a lot in my shop going on right now and you'll be seeing me use this evolution saw a lot. It just saves time. And some of these projects down here, you're going to want to hang around and look at because I think you're really going to like what's being built right here in some upcoming videos this summer. So if you like to do it your type style videos, please like and subscribe to my videos. Take a look at some of my other videos. You might find something you yourself might want to build.